All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome back. Hey, I wanted to revisit uh, Loopring, just try to do some kind of analysis for a price prediction in the short term. Uh, this is my third video on Loopring. Check out the first two. I am very bullish on this cryptocurrency over the next few years. Whenever that euphoria comes back, whenever we see you know your grandmother, your mailman, your hairdresser asking you about cryptocurrencies, I think Loopring is going to be one of those that does very well that puts in a higher high next cycle. I love the tokenomics. Uh, there's just so much potential with this cryptocurrency that I will be accumulating a lot over a period of time. I talk about that in this first video that you can see up here. Would I buy Loopring in the bear market? It's a part of my Would I Buy series. But then the second one, if you want to just see, just verify that at least with this cryptocurrency, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, watch this February March price prediction, and you what you will see if you watch that video. I rarely watch my videos um, after initially making them, but what you will see with that video, I watched it last night just to revisit it, is that I nailed pretty much everything. Okay, and I'm not saying that to pull my own um, sh shoestrings, what's the word? I don't know, you know, toot my own horn, that's what I was thinking. But more so to say like, hey, I think you can trust um, that I've done enough research on this one that you can trust my judgment. So looking at Loopring right now, here is the all-time chart. Uh, the blue lines are on this chart are the, the, the levels that I'm paying attention to, especially these bottom three, which you can see that Loopring has ranged within these levels for most of its history. Um, previously and before 2021, you know, we were below that in 2018 through the previous bear market, but 2021, we spent a lot of time there into 20. 2022 and then well no 2022 we we peaked in, in late 2022 spent our way or 2021 we spent our way coming back down in 2022 but then came right back down in the middle of 2022 to these same levels that we've been in previously and this is the name of the game right now when it comes to loopering and i'm going to zoom in a little bit because this is a monthly chart I mean, monthly MACD and stochastic RSI, I mean, it, it's looking like it's primed for a move up. Um, there's bullishness there. Looking at the weekly chart, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. But I tend to prefer, especially for short term, looking at the daily chart and seeing, hey, where are we and where could we potentially go? So just keeping this in mind, weekly actually doesn't look all that great looking at the MACD histogram and the stochastic, but that could certainly, we could certainly just go right back up. Um, there's more potential to the downside on the weekly, but Here's the deal. This is our range. This is where I believe we're going to spend a majority of the time with loop ring. And so it's easy to trade, you know, and I called around a 50 cent LRC crypto price. We had a wick up there, got rejected really hard, went right back down, hung around the middle of the level. Um, and then we're seeing this right here now serve as resistance. But with Loopring, of course, I'm not just going to look at LRC and try to determine where we are, where we're going next, um, because I got to look at Bitcoin as well. And there are certain things that are going on with the entire crypto market and the entire the stock market as well with this recent Silicon Valley bank collapse that has me wondering if we are uh, about to gear up for a pretty explosive move as we see signs that the Federal Reserve is going to pause or pivot, most likely pause, um, if that's going to happen at their next Fed meeting in March. And if that's the case, my target again is right back around 50 cents. That in my opinion is for, for April, by the end of April, I do believe we will not have seen this cryptocurrency go higher than 50 cents. If the Fed continues to, to be aggressive, more aggressive with raising rates, I could see us, especially looking at that weekly chart, I could see us moving down, probably not all the way to 18 cents. But what I will say is that this is going to be resistance and it's going to be very difficult to break through. But if you were to ask me right now where I think the markets are going, I do think, and I, I've been saying this since early January, that we are about where we are in month two or three 
of a six month upward trend, a bear market rally. And so again, just like last video, this is my peak or a little uh, around 50 cents, but it may be that same wick, that same wick right there, whatever that peaked at, I could see that being a double top of sorts for loopering in the month of April. And, and I do believe that we will break through this resistance, that we're not just going to struggle through this the whole month. I don't see much, too much to the downside potentially for loopering, but 50 cents or so will be, in my opinion, loopering's peak for the month of March or April, more likely April than March. Um, if I am wrong, and, and if you're hearing other people say that loop rings going to a dollar or two dollars, you know, very soon and buckle up, let's go to the moon. If I am wrong, and they're right, this is where I would be aggressively taking profits. I, I highly doubt we're getting anywhere near there. But around 90 cents, I would be taking pretty much all my profits getting ready to reload at a lower price point. And why Why 90 cents in particular? Well, looking, I gotta go back to the monthly here, looking at the monthly chart, it's like, look look where we've spent a large majority of our time. You can see around the time that loop ring at least got on trading view, it was around this 90 cent range. But then I'm looking at the body. I tend to pay attention when I'm drawing my little levels to the body of the of the candle and not the wick. But you can see that there was a double peak here in February of 2021 that that would that's those there's two wicks that we wicked up to about 90 cents. And so looking at that as like that initial euphoria, that was the, the peak of, of the excitement when it came to the crypto market, although Loopring did put in a higher high in the in the fall of 2021 that, you know, looking at best case scenario, and I, I would really even say this is best case scenario throughout the bear market between now and at least the next Bitcoin having, but maybe even 2025, I would be looking at 90 cents as a point where um, I'm, I'm about ready to exit. Now, after 2020, like, you know, we get to 2025, um, I'm seeing loop ring put in a higher high. So what's that from here? That's at least a 10x. But I would guess more so more than that. And I, I have a great deal of confidence in that. Just fundamentally, tokenomics, all the things I've been talking about, all the things I talked about in my previous videos. Um, I'm very excited about this. I would just urge some patience. And if you're calling, if you're hearing somebody call for a dollar loop ring in 2023, um, I just, they're wrong. I don't see any case for why loop ring would get that high. Um, but hey, you know, the name of the game is accumulation and patience, in my opinion. I, I, I'm playing a little bit of a longer game here. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Where do you think we're going for loop ring? Are we just going to take off and shoot to the moon right away? Or do we have some more downside? We'll see. Um, but let me know what you're thinking in the comment section. And otherwise, I will see you in another video. Peace.